Okay, so what we're gonna do today is we are gonna photo coat our screens, get photo emulsion ready for it. We're gonna, uh, what you're gonna need is a clean and degreased screen, a scoop coater, your photo emulsion. I use a few matte board pieces to smooth out any of the outside edges just so I don't have any thick areas. Spoon for stirring up your emulsion or a palette knife and some paper towels to take care of any messes that we make in the back. All right, all right, so now we're in the dark room and we can coat this in our own shop. We do this not under the safe lights. We just do it in regular lights as long as we darken it really fast. But at the university here, we have our dark room where we're gonna prepare it. I pulled out the photo emulsion that I've keep, kept refrigerated. It's good for about a year, you know, and I've stirred it up and I'm waiting for the bubbles to kind of uh, go, go back. We have our scoop coater ready to go. And um, we have our screen and we placed it against this block that's been kind of fused to it. But basically it's like propping it. It's like an extra hand holding it on. So we're gonna use that. And um, so now with the bubbles kind of gone, if you look at the scoop coater, guys, there is a rounded edge and a flat edge. Well, the rounded edge you don't want to have next to your screen. We want to use the flat edge. And what we're going to do, this is, if we're going to fill this up, fill the trough up with the photo motion. We're going to put our hand on here. We're going to take it to the frame. And we're going to tilt it forward until the photo motion makes contact. And it'll move slow, so be uh, patient with it. And with a firm hand, we're going to pull it up, get near the top of the frame without touching it, pull it back to reclaim as much photo motion as we can. If there's any drips, we'll take some mat board and smooth it out. But you don't want to hit the frame. Yeah, you're going to get thick piles of photo motion that will never dry. It'll just pull and, and rinse out when you spray it out. We want to avoid the frame, okay? So, um... I'm just going to spoon in what we need for this project. We're going to fill up the trough. And if you're doing multiple screens, this is a good time to coat like three or four screens. Because it's only, if you're doing one screen, it takes no time to do this. Okay, so... With the photo emulsion in there, just gonna balance it out a little bit. All right, and we're ready to go. If you have a friend, you don't feel like you can do this securely, you can have one friend hold one side of the scoop coater, all hold the other and move it up. I'm just used to doing this by myself. So again, I'm not touching the frame. I'm gonna find a spot near the bottom. I'm gonna put the scoop coater there and I'm gonna lean it forward until it makes contact. I'm watching both sides. As soon as you see that flow make contact, pull it firm. Stop before you get to the frame, pull back to reclaim, and I'm just gonna bump it up a little bit more, okay? So that little bit of bump, kind of, uh, now this scoop cutter has been dropped a couple times. You can see a little bit of the thick spots, not a big deal. I'm just gonna take mat board pieces and smooth out the thick stuff so that it's easier for us to clean it up. You can even take the mat board and smooth out that, the little bump. And you can do that from both sides if you have to. So now we have a thin layer of photo emulsion that if we wait one day, it dries naturally in the screen and uh, you're ready to expose your image. And so in the meantime, we're gonna take it into this room and put it on the pie rack. Dry, and it'll be good for tomorrow and that's what we that's all we have to do with our screen drying we need to clean up everything here so more importantly I don't want to waste any of the photo motion so you're gonna take your mat board pieces as well and you're gonna scrape all that back into the container so you're not wasting it so everything we do gets scraped back and then I'm gonna take it out and uh, it's, it reacts water solidly. It cleans up with water, so I'm going to clean it in our sink. And it has traps for everything. And so uh, I'll take this out there 
but you can see that I've left very little photo emulsion in it. If there's any drips or anything like that on our table, we can just take our paper towels and clean up our messes. And then I'm just gonna put the top back on and put it back into their fridge where somebody else can use it and clean the rest of this out in the sink.